Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through setting up your payment gateways for your Shopify store. So this is a very crucial step because this is how you get paid, which is of course the whole point and very important. So to do this, we're gonna go down here to the left-hand side under settings. And then we're going to go to payments. And you have different payment options. So the first thing before we go into all of this, I do wanna show if you scroll down, you'll see where it has the payment authorization. So I always recommend setting this to automatically capture payments. Manual is best if you have, let's say wholesale orders and you're wanting to wait a certain time to actually capture the payment. However, for a lot of people, automatic payments is gonna be what you really want to set up. So as soon as the order comes in, that means it'll automatically capture the payment, which also helps prevent against fraudulent charges. Uh, if you wait too long to capture the payment and you already ship out the product, it could be a fraudulent order and then you've lost some money. So I always recommend setting up the automatic. So scrolling back to the top here, so there's a few different areas of setting up your payments. So the first thing that I recommend is setting up Shopify payments. So this is Shopify's payment provider and they also have the new Shopify pay. So if you set up Shopify, pay, Shopify payments on your site, anyone else who, let's say your customer has shopped at other Shopify stores before, whether they knew it or not, and they saved their information with them, it'll automatically have it to where it's just a, um, an easy checkout process for them with your store. So it's really beneficial to do this. So we're gonna hit add provider. And you can see here, this is the Shopify payments, which I recommend. You can also choose a third party provider if you already have another payment gateway and you can choose it from the list. Uh, however, I do recommend the Shopify payments. So we'll hit Shopify payments and hit continue. And I'm not gonna walk you through all of the steps in terms of completing the account setup because that's something that you'll actually go through and put in your bank account information and your personal information. So it's very personalized. So to do that, you would hit complete account setup. And here you'll go in and put your different information in here about your name, uh, information about your products, and your bank account. So that way it'll automatically deposit it into your account. However, let's just hit the back. And I'll show you here under edit, once you have this set up, you can also do a test mode. So if you want to just test a few orders, you can hit that. And then once you hit the account setup and finalize all of that, you can choose which cards you wanna take. So maybe you don't wanna take American Express. You can choose that from here. Um, and so you'll see the different options once you have that set up. You can also go in and do PayPal. So if you set this up with Express Checkout, you just have to link that to your PayPal account. And then it'll show a PayPal button on the checkout page so that someone can easily pay with PayPal. I also recommend doing this because everyone has their different preferences of how they like to pay. And a lot of times if someone already has a PayPal account set up, it's a lot easier than going and getting a credit card from their wallet. So to do that, you'll just hit select PayPal method and you would choose PayPal Express Checkouts. And then it'll prompt you to hit activate, which it'll take you to your PayPal account and you'll go through, log into your PayPal account and confirm that you want to connect that. So again, I'm not gonna go through that step just because it is more personal information. You have also a few other areas here. You can turn on Amazon Pay of linking that to uh, where they can pay through their Amazon account. You can also have it set up to go through another thing if you want to have other options for them to pay. And another one that's popular for brick and mortar stores is manual payments. So you can set that up to um, have it to be where they do cash on delivery. So they actually pay in store. These aren't as common, um, but definitely the, the PayPal, the Shopify payments, and even Amazon pay are definitely the ones that you want to consider putting in first for your store to select your payments. So once you do have Shopify payments set up, 
once you get an order, you can actually see your payout on the home area. So we'll go, click back here to the left hand menu to home. Once you have payouts set or Shopify payment set up, you'll see the payout area over here and it'll show you when you're expecting to get money deposited into your bank account. So it's really helpful as well since you're logging into your Shopify store anyways to manage your store and your inventory to see exactly when things are going to be hitting your account. So since I didn't finish setting that up, we're not seeing that now. However, you would see that here on the right hand side of your homepage. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and you know the exact steps that you need to go through of setting up payment gateways for your Shopify store. Please subscribe to this channel and you'll be the first to be notified when we put out new weekly videos all about Shopify. Thanks so much.